I'm on my fourth playthrough on Cyberpunk 2077. And even though the game still has a lot of problems, it has a bunch of problems, I believe it's still playable. I know that the game needs to be fixed in a lot of ways. CD Projekt Red said that they would do this by a January update and then they would do a February update. Next week is going to be the January update, which will be on the 23rd. I think they said something like that. It'll be like 10 days from now. So it'll be the 23rd or the 24th or something like that. I don't know. I, no, yeah, it will be the 23rd because they came out with the video yesterday. So it's going to be on. Friday of next week. The game plays pretty bad at times. There are times when the immersion doesn't come in. Like, you could be riding on air. Like, you could literally be riding on air. The game, it, like, it has to wait in order for the textures to come in and all that, you know? You you could walk up to a person, stand right in their face, and you'll have to wait like five seconds, five or ten seconds to interact, you know, to have a conversation or a dialogue, whatever the case may be, you know? That should not be happening. This game took eight years to make, and I don't know the the... How big is the team of CD Projekt Red? I don't know how big it is, but it took eight years to make, and this game is still unplayable. It just, it doesn't make sense to have this game coming out, pushing the game out, which you could have delayed it for a few more months, and then said, okay, you know, now we can smoothen things out, and now we can go ahead and, and release the game. Because right now what's happening is that a lot of the investors are wanting their money back. 10% of the of the income that CD Projekt Red has gotten goes back to investors who are suing them. They're, they're losing money. That's why they came with their apology video yesterday because it's a lot that they're losing. You know, PlayStation, now let me tell you something. When it came to Witcher 3, also a game from CD Projekt Red. When it came to Witcher 3, Witcher 3 was bad. It was absolutely horrible. They didn't cover the patches and, you know, and then it smoothing things out. They came with, you know, some free DLC and whatnot. And now it's a it's a, it's a decent game, but you know. I don't know. I, I, I can't play it again. But anyway. That was 2013, 2000 and I don't know, 2000 and 12, 13, around the time when the PS4 uh, and the Xbox One was coming out. So you had all this time to fix the game and, 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 and iron out all of the glitches and bugs because there are a ton of them. Ton of them. You had all this time. You know, what is the excuse that you have, CD Projekt Red, for this game to be the way it is right now? It just doesn't make sense. This is the reason why PlayStation won't even put it in their store. You look on the PlayStation store right now, it's not even there. They just say, you know what, we're not going to put this game in our store knowing where the rate it is right now. You know, you, you put three patches on the game. Three. You put three patches. Three, three of them on the game, and it's still broken. It's still broken. It's still unplayable. That just is inexcusable. It's inexcusable. Here's a month and some change that the game has been out, and it's still broken. Ah, oh, it's just so it's it's terrible because you know what. Even though the game is glitchy and buggy as all hell, I can still play it. Now, let me give you the reviews that IGN gave an Angry Joe, who just made a 
review on the game yesterday. So IGN gave the game an amazing nine. They gave it a nine. I don't agree with no nine right now. I can't say a nine. You know, it's just a nine is a game that's, you know, it has a good story. The writing is good. And Keanu Reeves does his thing. I mean, man, so that may be a, a reason to play the game. But is it a nine? A nine? I don't think it's a nine. Angry Joe gave the game on the last gen consoles a two. And with the patches, he gave it a four. On PC in the next gen, he basically gave it a six. My review of the game right now, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say a five. Only because it's, it's still a fun, playable game. If you can get past the bugs and the glitches and everything like that, you could have fun in the game. Like, I beat the game three, four times already, and now I'm like going around just looking for side quests to do. You know what I'm saying? I love the gunplay. Oh, I love it. It's fantastic. Fantastic. I love it that I love that it's in first person. I love first person shooter games. So that's why I can give this game a uh, five because the gameplay is just is 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 great as far as combat goes and you know when the dialogue when you can when the texture comes in you know to a people you know instead of looking all like in 64 graphics when the texture start to come in and you can get a lot dialogue and start to talk to people you know it's good but I can't give it no more than a five right now. And I'm definitely not giving it a nine. I don't know. Maybe the checks came in for IGN. I don't know. But it's 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 a good game. It just needs a lot of work to be done right now. So I want to look forward to the um patch that's going to be coming out in the next ten uh well actually it's going to be the next nine days, which will be next week Friday. And we'll see how the game plays out then. And I, I, I want to know what's that DLC because anybody could put out some DLC. But if you're not going to really get no details on the DLC, it's like, okay, because it's free, don't complain because it's free. But if it's not good DLC, then what, you know, we're going to complain. You know what I'm saying? Because we already paid full price. I, I pre ordered the game. I pre ordered the game. So, I, of course, I can complain because. I pre-ordered it, you know? But anyway, we got to see what happens next week. And hopefully, it can get better. Cross your fingers, because let me tell you something. This is the fourth patch. Fix your game, CD Projekt Red. Fix your game, because if you don't, you're going to have mad issues. And you're going to have people coming after you and just talking down more about your game than people have already has. Look on YouTube. It's all over the place. All right, y'all. I'm out.